need a way to track different vendor related information. One way we can do that is using the customizability of D365 to do that. Today we're going to look at adding columns to forms in D365. And also I'm working with the make.powerapps.com experience to modify things. Let's get started. When working with D365, we have the account entity. We can repurpose the account entity or use it for multiple purposes. So what we're going to do is we're going to current, we're currently tracking all our customers inside of our account entity, but we're also going to want to track our vendors. So we're just going to add a user defined field that's going to allow us to set the type to be either customer or vendor. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to make.powerapps.com portal to modify um, and add our user defined field. So under solutions, I'm going to go to my webinar solution that I've already created here. And within that solution, I have a table called account. And I'm going to, I've already added that to this particular solution. I'm just going to go into that and edit it. You'll notice it'll now come up with the list of columns, which used to be called fields, relationship, business rules, views, forms, um, that you would see in D365 data and dashboards. So let's go back to our columns. So we're going to add a new column. So I'm going to call this category that I want to track. And the data type of this field is going to be uh, choice. And we're going to add a new choice. We're going to, it's either going to be a vendor or a customer. So we'll add customer to start off with. And we'll add a second option that's vendor. And we'll now save this as our category. Or our choice, it's creating the choice field. So the next thing I need to do is create a default value or assign us a default value. So most of the time it's going to be customer that I'm creating, not a vendor. And I can make this as a required uh, field. So obviously it needs to be required. Is it searchable? I can give it a description. Once I'm ready, I hit done. So now that I've added my field, I now need to add it to my form. So we're going to go to the uh, our form. So we're going to go to our main account form. So remember, if I jump back here, this is our main account form, and I want to add it just below um, account name. I want to add a category there. So let's go back here. I'm going to go modify, edit this form in a new tab. So the form is just coming up here. It takes a little bit of time on the first load. So once the form is up, I'm now going to add uh, my field to this form. So I'm just going to click within the section that I want to add. So you'll see account name, phone number here. We need to hit the plus to add a new uh, component or form field. I can now search for my uh, field. So we call it category. So I have category available to me. It's now added it um, just to the bottom here. We can just drag that in place that where we want. So we want that just under account name. So I now have category available to me. I would now click save and publish um, this particular form change. And I'll show you that once I've published it, what that would look like inside of D365. So I'd noticed that I actually um, made a mistake and I actually had two um, fields or columns with the exact same name. So I actually went back and changed this to account category. You'll now notice that I have customer and vendor as my two available options that I can select. So we're gonna select vendor, that this is a vendor account. And now I can treat this and work exactly uh, with this record. I could add other vendor type fields such as credit limit or payment terms, uh, things that you may want to push into another ERP system, um, such as Dynamics GP from CRM. So to learn more about modifying um, 
D365 sales, please contact Profit by visiting us at www.profit.ca. Thank you.